Well, I don't know if you can see it, but that little boat right there looks like that's what washed up on the beach. I heard from Vern that uh, during the storm got rattled up a bit. There's a little damage to my boat too, but not to the actual boat, just to the, the tarp here. A little roughed up, but that's okay because we're really close. As you can tell, it's getting warmer now, which is what I was so excited about coming back to the boat. I knew that every day I was going to be here is going to get warmer. So this is the coldest day from this point forward. Mmm, so exciting. Okay, well, I'm going to be working on electrical stuff for the next little bit, which means I got to go stop by Vern's place and get like the mountain of stuff I've ordered to his place. The last few orders of the last few major electronic components got ordered there. Um, I got to drag the inverter to uh, to the boat, which is not going to be fun because that thing weighs a ton. Before we do any of that today, I'm going to go check in on uh, Captain Mike and see what he's up to. Bring him a little bit more of my chopped up firewood. Oh, you're going to go for that one, eh? Bold move, bold move. I don't know why you did that. You got to get your sea legs again, eh, old pupper? You don't know what you're doing. What are you going to... Okay, well, if you're going to share the seat, you're going to get a little bit more space, eh? There you go, a little bit more space. All right, up, up and away. <sighs> like many of the residents of Gabriola, Captain Mike loves to give Champ all kinds of food scraps. You've eaten what, like lamb stew, a couple of deer venison pieces. Man, you're just spoiled rotten with him. What it's come down to is Champ loves the people of Gabriola much more than he loves me, don't you buddy? Who am I? I'm just a guy who films you all day, and pets you, Whoa. feeds you. It's not important. <laughs> you like being back on the boat? Oh, it's good to be home, eh? Look at that tail. It's just so happy. He's so happy. Come up. Come on. Go on then. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he's in. <laughs> yeah. Welcome home. Thanks for cleaning my dishes. <laughs> That's it. Do <laughs> Okay. Are on sale now. Call us at one. Yeah. That's how it really feel. It's not going to be here. Don't worry. Hey, don't worry. Put it right there. Hello. Hello. Oh, chappy, chappy, chappy. Running on the beach, maybe not so much. I wish he was that happy to see me when I came home. Jeez. Oh, wasn't he? Well, I not like this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you've been eating so, good. So Champ is really happy to be back here. Vern and Champ are already outside playing yes. fetch in the driveway. <laughs> Um, and I've got a lot of packages that have arrived. I ordered a bunch of the stuff that was going to take a long time to get here while I was gone so I could profit of that. So we're going to do a little opening party and I'll show you what we got. Oh, here they are. They're so small. Oh my god, they're tiny. Nice, solid metal build. Oh, this is so good. So these are the charge controllers. Two of these bad boys. I thought you liked the styling like Beach Boys, eh? <laughs> they are. That's it. That's a motor. That's a motor. Look how light that is, eh? It's been working on my boat. Man, it'll work on all kinds of any application. They're so tiny. Look at that. Oh, this is it. This tiny little motor, beautiful. Eight kilowatt continuous usage. And uh, yeah, these are about 300 bucks each. 
So they're a lot cheaper than all the other brushless DC motors I was looking at. And the production quality is a lot higher. So what I'm going to do is put fan blades on this outer casing because it's an outrunner. And it's going to cool the coils down that way. And then I'll vent it out the back. That's the idea. A lot more flexible and a lot smaller and cheaper. Good stuff. <laughs> we also got a little gift from Louisa. Thank you so much. This is from the Amazon wish list. Uh, it's still going on. Still got lots of stuff, man. But uh, I want to thank everyone who's been hitting up that uh, Amazon wish list because, yeah, we've a lot of those little nickel and dime things that really hurt a project have been helped out by you guys. So you're keeping it moving along, and I really appreciate that. Oh, I got a late Christmas package from my mom. Oh my God, look at all this candy. I gained a little weight in Thailand, but that's not likely to change with the family from sending the candies alligators. like that. <laughs> the alligator the alligator was, alligators are making you fat. The alligator was delicious. Look at these warm Ooh, socks. socks. Don't have much of winter left, but I'm glad to have socks. I think my family don't get the memo. It's like 10, 15 degrees here. My family is still in negative 40, oh. freezing their giblets off. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Champ's even got a chocolate bar here. Mr. Bone, delicious snack for dogs. Oh, look at that. So He's many gifts. Snack. So many socks. My family knows me well. All I really want is different socks. <laughs> Apaca socks. Nice. These are so good to have. Well, it's good to see the whole crew. Captain Mike and Vern and Lynn and everybody. But uh, we're making our way back out to the boat. Check it out. Seasons are changing. This low tide, I only usually see it at night, so you guys never get to see it. Um, this isn't the low, low tide, although it is quite low. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like that mid tide, you know? I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Tide's real low, and in the summertime, we get low tides in the daytime, so it's going to be crucial for me to get my work done um, to be able to stand on the shore and, and work on stuff underneath the boat, for instance. It'll be really handy. But let's go check out that, uh, that little sailboat that washed up. I want to go see it. There she is, the Malaika. Oh, she looks pretty rough. What's that? What do you think? Yeah. I know, I'm not happy about it either. Hey, I know. Oh, oh, you're preaching to the choir. Oh. Big wide boat, real wide. Bent that rudder up pretty good. That's a lot of barnacles, eh, champ? Yeah. Poor thing. The Malaika will be floated February 3rd. I know. Please do not take any more stuff. She needs to be taken out and shown a good time. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Well, I know. What's the sailboat doing all the way up here? Weird, eh, buddy? Weird. Well, she's not the only boat out here in the bay. There's uh, about half dozen, maybe a bit more, uh, neglected and abandoned boats in the bay here with me. <laughs> Mine was heading the same direction, so I'll be glad just to see that one sail off. I don't really need to worry too much about all the other neglected boats. Heaven knows there's a lot of them out there. Speaking of neglect, um, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is one of the tarps from my boat. And it washed up here ashore. I guess that storm must have been one hell of a storm last uh, last week when I wasn't here. But uh, yeah, blew this tarp clean off the boat. I don't know from where, I can't seem to find an area where I'm missing tarp, but looks like one of mine, so I'm taking it. Some people wonder why I don't get a new dinghy or a bigger one because I have to drag it across the beach. I have to drag it across the beach and you don't even help. You don't at all. You just watch every time. What do you even go for? What do you even go for? Hmm? Fully loaded. Okay. Up on your bench. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, we're back here on the boat. 
champ. You're being a good boy. And I'm uh, testing the new solar charge controllers. I, I can't get over how small this thing is. It's tiny, the Midnight Classic. It's really small. Um, we got just jumper cables connected to this battery bank, half of it. And we got it over here. Now I noticed a problem with these battery banks. Just for installation purposes, I've noticed that this is positive, that's negative, or vice versa, and the same on the other side. So they're actually, if I was running the whole thing in series, then it'd be great, but I wanna run these in parallel. So since I have to take off these covers to get my new connectors on, I think I'm going to rewire them so that it's positive, positive, negative, negative. Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, we'll do that to the first battery bank and see how that goes. Actually getting some sunshine here. Holy crap, let's go outside then. Oh, so I finally got this inverter right here out to the boat. And as I mentioned before, it is very, very heavy. In fact, it's so heavy, I've been complaining about it all last vlog and I've been complaining to anyone who will listen. It's like a hundred pounds. Well, according to the slip, it's only 77 pounds. It's just, it's just me that's pathetic. I'm not a strong man. Anyway, so now that we cleared up that I'm weak, um, let's open this bad guy up and power it on and see what kind of things it has to say to me. The other one was really easy, so let's do that. Com box again. This is so that I can Wi-Fi enable all my electronics. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so I opted just to get the com box and not uh, the control panel because it's the 21st century, God damn it, and everything's gotta be Wi-Fi enabled. But I'm not too uh, keen on having an actual control panel to look at. It's not crucial, it's not uh, necessary. And uh, I can connect this to my computer via wireless or to my phone or tablets. And the idea being here that uh, if a boat is all Wi-Fi enabled, I can uh, connect to it from bed, from my bunk, and um, it'll help me sleep easier because I can just roll over, check my phone, see the status of many systems, including the overweight inverter. The sparking is normal. It's a normal part of this. Uh, has to charge up capacitors. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just waiting on a few more connectors before I can wire this up permanently and actually see it in action. But it's good to know that the power's on and it hasn't been damaged. So happy to hear that. Uh, now I gotta figure out where all of this shit goes. Jesus, I'm running out of space on this boat. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me tonight, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.